All right, my friend, it's time to create a UI collection view cell, a custom cell class for this app. The app that we're going to build again is this amazing photos library app that we have. We're going the photos, we we'll click into one cells, we have the beautiful full screen photos, and then we have different multiple, uh, multiple sections. We can add new photos, we can delete photos. That is what we're going to create in this course. So now in this lesson, let's subclass UI collection view cell, which is the base class, the super class of every cell in your collection view. And then we'll add some IB outlet, some IB actions in your cell. So let's go ahead and do this in the demo. As you may know that whenever we have a custom cell for table view, we create a custom class that subclassing UI table view cell. The same goes for UI collection view. So when you with UI collection view, when you have a custom cells like this. And with collection view, most of the time it is custom cells because um, collection view is all about custom cells, right? Custom layouts, custom cells, those kind of things, and animation, transitions, those things. So, just like that, we have to create a custom class for our cells. So let's go ahead and do this. Over the views group, right click and have a new file, and let's use square file. And here, let's call this guy photo cells. Or you can use photo collection view cells. Let's use photo cells for short. Leave it there, create it. And then here, let's import UI kit. All right, now let's have a class called photo cell, which is a subclass of UI collection view cell. Now let's head over our main storyboard and then I want to change the custom class for this cells. So select this custom collection view cell and then over our custom class, change that into photo cells. And then open the assistant editor by hold the option key, click into your photo cell like this and we have that on the right. Now there's only one outlet that I want to do. Uh, I have to figure out why is that, how can it suddenly just like enlarge it like this. <laughs> I mean, I know that in Mac Sierra, you can like, I think move around the mouse for some reason, like that, and it will just enlarge the mouse, right? But for example, like suddenly it enlarge like that, it will be a cool way to, to, oh, option? No. <laughs> to cool way to highlight the uh, console for you. Okay, now let's, yeah, you see that? It's just increased, it's just messed up. <laughs> okay, so right click and drag from the image into the photo cells, and then let's have the photo image view outlet. Connect that, and we're pretty good to go. Now let's talk about what is the public API for this guy. It means that what is the data that we are trying to display? Right, we're trying to display an image. So we have an image, but now we want to have an image name, let's say, because you remember inside our data source, we have image names, so we have the image name. Now, when this guy get the set, then I'm going to change the photo image view into the photo that has this image name from our XCS sets. One thing to note though, that this is what we call an property observer in Swift. This is a property because it is a variable inside a structure like this, a property. And it observes the different stages of a variable. Here we have the set, meaning that if someone have an instance of this photo cell, and then it says the instance of photo cells, dot image name equals something, then this guy will get called immediately. And then at that time, it's a good way for us to populate the data into our outlet. So here, let's do photo image view dot image dot image to be the UI image with the named of image name like that. And pretty much, you know what? That's it. That's all we have to do. Hey, my friend, that is photo cell. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. It is 
more than a half of our way already to set up our collection view. In the next one, we are going to create the collection view controller. That is going to be when like, well, what do we build say? The rubble, the rubber meets the road or whatever that is. Everything will come together. Let's recap a little bit. In the first one, we create our data structure, right? The model of the class. In the next one, in the uh, third lesson, we talk about how to design the cells, this collection view inside your storyboard. And then in this lesson, we talk about how to subclass UI collection view cell so that we have the custom code to set up the cell. In the next one, we use all of that into our controller, which is the UI collection view controller. I see you in the next lesson. Move on to the next one immediately because that is when we are going to run the app. It's going to be amazing. Let's do that. I see you in the next lesson. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.